We first broke this story for you on KLTV.com. An East Texas Sheriff's deputy is now out of a job nearly a week after he shot a family's pet. Brains County Deputy Jared Dooley shot the dog while responding to a burglary call Friday on FM 514. Dooley claims he feared the dog was going to attack, leaving him with no choice but to shoot. The homeowner, Cole Middleton, recorded his confrontation with the deputy right after the shooting. He comes out and shoots my dog, and he doesn't even shoot in a way that will kill her. He shoots in a way that I have to drown her because I don't have a gun to kill her. I feel bad about shooting your dog. I had no choice. I wasn't going to get bit, okay? Today, the Raines County Sheriff told KLTV7 that Deputy Dooley has now been fired from the department. KLTV7 also obtained the dash cam video taken from the deputy's car during the burglary response. A mild warning here. While the video does not show the dog at the moment it was actually shot by the deputy, the sound is captured and some viewers might find that disturbing. Our summer dash takes us through today's new developments and that video. As Deputy Jared Dooley pulls up to the Middleton home, you can see Candy, the blue healer, wagging her tail and hear her barking in the back of that parked truck. Hey, boy. Moments later, the deputy gets out of his car and Candy hops out of the truck, then silence. That's when officials say the audio goes out momentarily due to the loud sound of Deputy Dooley's gun. When it returns seconds later, Candy had been shot in the head. We never see her get shot, and it's unclear on this video exactly how the dog approached the deputy, but he claims it was in self-defense. Listen to the conversation when Cole Middleton, the dog's owner, walks up. You're, you're about to be upset, but your dog charged me, and I had to shoot him. My God, no! No! I'm, no! I'm sorry. No! Deputy Dooley then gets back in his car and calls for backup. County, I'm leaving until the scene's safe. Get me some help out here now. Then he puts his car in reverse and waits for backup to arrive, at which point Middleton pleads with the deputy to shoot his dog and finish him off. I'm not shooting that dog again. Stay away from my truck. You can then see Dooley walk over and pick up a bucket, which he says he had to use to drown his own dog. That happens off camera. This incident sparked questions about how the deputy handled the situation and has even prompted the Raines County Sheriff's Department to create new policies around handling aggressive animals. This is a bad situation that occurred. It's an issue that we've never had to deal with. Sheriff David Trailer tells me in his nearly three decade career in law enforcement, he's never had a department receive so many threats for a single incident. Ultimately, he says that is why Deputy Dooley was fired. You know, he's had threats, he needs to be shot in the back of the head. And it came to the point that uh, uh, Deputy Dooley was actually in a dangerous position and he put any other officers working with him, if he had been put back out there, uh, into a dangerous position. They are receiving so many calls, he says, it's hindering work. The hundreds and hundreds of calls that's come in here, it's, it's, t it's literally took time away from us on doing what we need to be out there uh, doing. Deputy Dooley had been working for the Raines County Sheriff's Department for six months and Trailer says other than minor complaints he had no issues with Deputy Dooley. Dooley will not be allowed to return to work at the department despite the outcome of the current investigation. That was a, a, a decision I'm by no means saying at this point that he is guilty of a criminal offense but it is being investigated towards the criminal uh, sad right now. Guidelines are now being set in place for deputies faced with a similar situation, such as calling the owner before getting out of the car if there is a potentially aggressive dog present or honking the horn. You can put the policies out there, you can try to follow them to the best and, that you can, and, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, but a lot of it's just going to be a matter of the uh, I guess common sense. But ultimately, he says, it will all come down to judgment. Summer Dash, KLTV 7 News. Today, Cole Middleton tells us he is pleased with the sheriff's decision to fire Deputy Jared Dooley, but he hopes to see criminal action taken. The Texas Rangers had been asked to assist in the investigation.